Okay, today we we're going to do Heroes of Might and Magic 3 on a Surface Pro. It's actually pretty easy. I bought the game from Good Old Games and then installed it just using the desktop with uh, Mozilla Firefox and everything. Just the usual way. And I also updated the uh, Intel drivers for the graphics uh, adapter. So um, what I'll do first is click that one, which is right over there. It'll start and change the display settings. As you can see, it's now the highest resolution. But we need to change that a bit to make it full screen. So, what I'll do, I'll put it, uh, this at, let me see, a little bit lower than that. Like that. And then I can change this setting to scale full screen. As you can see, and when I've done that, I'll apply this, say yes, and then I'll start the game. Already got it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, that works quite alright. Now you can actually start a new game. So let's select new game. Let's see, I'll start a campaign right there. Uh, let's see, the shadow of death. Alright, first one. Do this one and start it. And there we go. Well, actually, you can just play this game right away. So, um, first let's see build a town hall this one the other one As you can see, it all works quite nicely, and also you can use obviously this one. The only downside is a bit that you have to, when you want to save the game, it's good to have a uh, save name already there, because if you want to need to type it. Um, you will have to connect the, uh, the uh, keyboard or some kind. Or maybe you've got a, a Bluetooth keyboard of some kind. That should also work. Anyway, I already got a game there. I'll uh, just use the new game. So this is all possible, and um, it's like this game was made for a tablet, because you can do anything with just your, your fingers, so uh, that's it for now, catch you later, and maybe something else for the Surface Pro.